Hello guys, my name is Irina and today we're gonna be talking about lashes. For a long time I hated painting them. I prefer to keep the lash line unified without adding separate details. Only recently I've started to have some fun while working on them. It turned out that painting lashes is not that hard if you keep in mind a few things about them. So I've created a checklist that you can use while painting. But before that I must warn you about a few things. Some of these tips are more obvious than others, but we'll talk about them anyway. I was always impressed by the ability of some artists to create lashes with one brush stroke. That's not me. I have a process that consists of a few steps. So let's look at it. Point number one is shape. Lashes are curvy. Even though mine are pretty straight, they still have a curve at the sides. The same happens with lower lashes. It's much easier to see this effect on a side reference. So try not to paint straight lashes, but curvy ones. So it will look something like this instead of this. It takes time to get used to repeating this shape. It's all about practice. After eye number 100, you'll become much more proficient than that. Point number two is checking frequency. Try to avoid placing them evenly. Usually I try my best to find differences in how they are located. For example, these ones are closer to each other and they look as if they're one shape, while these ones are separate. It creates a variety and it's great if you're going for a realistic look. Point number three is the color of lashes. Usually I recommend picking black paints only in cases when you're going for a bold, dramatic look. In any other case, any dark color like all sorts of browns or grays will look more natural. The color of low lashes is usually lighter than upper ones. If we look closer at our reference, we'll see that lower lashes doesn't have an identical color. Here is the basic color of upper lashes. It's pretty similar everywhere, while the color of lower lashes is much lighter. And you can notice an interesting fact. This color is not just a lighter version of the upper lashes brown. It's more like a mix between the upper lashes brown and the skin of the eyelid. And if we move closer to the side of the eye, the color becomes even lighter. These changes is one more thing that can add liveliness to your painting. Point number four is the lash line. Eyelids have a thickness. The root of the lash is located closer to the edge of it, so they are not growing from an eyeball. It can be seen when we look at the eye from the top, but in any other case, showing this line can help you to create a more realistic effect. The color of this area is darker than the color of the skin and often has a red tint. Also, you can pay more attention to the line of it. Natural lashes start to grow at different spots. They don't stick to an unbroken line. They go down and up, showing more or less of the eyelid. Point number 5. The thickness of lashes is different. They are thicker at roots and thinner closer to ends. You can create this effect by varying the pressure of the brush. Something like this. There is one more thing. The shape doesn't only affect the thickness, but also the value of the lash. Thinner things tend to look lighter than thicker ones, so I like to add dark color closer to the middle of lashes. Point number six is the matter of preferences, but I still want to mention it anyway. I like smudging the roots, so you won't always see the exact spots of where the lashes started to grow. It helps to attract more attention to the ends of them. Also, sometimes I like to ignore lower lashes completely. It can cause an interesting effect. I think that it was all point that I wanted to mention. So let's look at the process of painting lashes. The full video of me painting this eye you can find on my Patreon. There I post lessons, tips and tricks. The link will be in the description. I start painting from working on the shape of lashes. I try to find those that grab my attention. I'm looking for separate, interesting shapes that will act as a base for those that will be next to them. You can see that I'm using different colors for bigger lashes and for smaller side ones. And I start to blend roots, so I won't need to do that later. The same process I repeat with lower lashes. 
The only difference is that I pick a lighter color and make lashes thinner. Sometimes you'll need to bring back the color of an eyelid because it's easy to lose it under lashes. Not always I can create a perfect shape, more like never, so I have to go over ends of lashes to make them thinner. As I've mentioned in our checklist, I usually add a darker color to the middle of the lash. You can see that some of them doesn't have a consistent color and may look almost transparent at some spots. Dark accents will bring back the thickness. Then I keep working on roots. At some spots I've decided to add more of an eyelid color. Thus lashes will look thinner, but you will avoid an effect of false eyelashes. I go back and forth smudging some areas, while other ones I make more contrast. It's a very soothing process. And here is the result. You can see that I did almost all things that we discussed before, except for the absence of lower lashes. The curvy shape is here, the distance between lashes is different, I worked on colors, lash line and thickness, and you've also seen how I was blending roots. Let's recap a few things. The most important about painting lashes is diversity. Some are straighter than others, some darker. The thickness and distance can be different. This variety helps to create a healthy, natural look. It was the first part of how to paint lashes video. In the second one, I'll show you a few paintings and we'll discuss how to improve them. Don't forget to subscribe this channel so you won't miss the next video. And I hope that this one was useful. So, see you soon!